second paper is Calcium and Cyclic AMP Promote Axonal Regeneration in C. elegans and Require DLK1 Kinase on the Journal of Neuroscience at 2010. Uh, in this article, our researchers show that exotomy of neurons in C. elegans triggers axonal calcium waves uh, whose amplitude correlates with the extent of regeneration. Uh, elevated calcium ion or cyclic AMP facilitates apparent fusion of axonal fragments and promotes branching to postsynaptic targets so they reveal the relationship between calcium ion CAMP signaling and the DLK1 MAP ca cascade in regeneration. <coughs> First, they measured the relative change of calcium by GFP-based calcium sensor GCAMP 2.0 as a function of time and distance from the site of laser exotomy. Uh, the amplitude and velocity of the G-comp transient decayed away from the cut site. Then they conclude that laser exotomy in vivo triggers an axonal calcium transient that can propagate along much of the cell. <coughs> and next, researchers compared the effects of calcium influx via voltage-gated calcium channels and calcium release from internal stores. According to reference, voltage-gated calcium channel alpha-1 subunit EGL19 is critical for calcium transients in these neurons. By using a gain-of-function mutation of EGL19 or nematipine, a specific antagonist of EGL19, they found that EGL19-mediated calcium influx is important for axonal regrowth. Also, they showed that calcium release from internal stores is involved in the exotomy-induced uh, calcium transient, and that this release is important for regenerative growth by mutation of inositol triphosphate uh, receptor. <coughs> Then uh, they tested whether neuronal CAMP is rate limiting for regrowth in C elegans axons and protein kinase A can promote regeneration. Uh, they tested a gain of function mutation in the neuronal adenylate cyclase and loss of mutations in the neuronal phosphodiesterase. Uh, from various mutation experiments, they concluded that CAMP is both necessary and can be rate limiting for regenerative growth and protein kinase A is the major effector of CAMP in regrowth. And after that, <coughs> researchers test whether elevated calcium or CAMP or activated PKA could increase fusion rates of the proximal and distal axon fragments and this reconnection involved a physical fusion of cell membranes. Uh, from their data, we can recognize that elevated CAMP can act cell autonomously to promote reconnections, and by electron microscopy imaging, uh, these reconnections involve physical fusion of cell membranes. Also, they test whether regrown ventral branches formed presynaptic specializations. Uh, in normal development, uh, their target neuron, the posterior touch neuron in C. elegans, extends a single ventral branch that forms synapses with interneurons uh, in the ventral cord. Uh, they investigated that loss of fu function mutations in the neuronal phosphodiesterase, which are related with elevated CAMP, uh, promotes regrowth of ventrally directed synaptic branches uh, similar to normal development. Finally, they tested a requirement of DLK1 mitogen activated protein kinase cascade, uh, which is upstream of CEBP1, uh, essential protein for C elegans, motor, and touch axon regeneration. According to the data, such as normal transients of exotomy triggered GCAMP appeared in DLK1 mutants. Uh, CAMP elevation cannot bypass the, the requirement uh, for. DLK1, but that increased CAMP can promote activity of other DLK1 targets besides CBP1. <coughs> uh, based on this article, calcium CAMP and PKA are both required and rate limiting factor for normal axon regrowth, 
and both calcium influx by voltage-gated calcium channel and calcium release from internal stores are activated in response to laser damage uh, to promote regeneration. Also, this elevation of calcium and CAMP promotes reconnection of exon fragments with stimulating branching or synaptogenesis uh, necessarily through DRK1 kinase.